on Oakland. Talking about Alzheimer's, talking about the, the walk that's coming up this weekend um, to end Alzheimer's, we have with us Melissa Colthbertson. She is chair of the AIM Committee for the Nashville Walk. Is that right? That's right. Okay, good. Um, and then Don Bunn, Executive Director of Tennessee Alzheimer's Association. So we're going to put up the number. Okay. First of all, okay, there's a 1-800 number. Mm -hmm. And I want to put that up right now. What is this number for and, and who should call this 1-800 number? Our 1-800 number, number is a 24-7 helpline um, where you can call and receive guidance. You can you reach a master's level clinician. Um, and it's just such a great resource for families. So you don't actually even need to have a question. You can just call if you need someone to talk to you after you received a diagnosis or you have concerns you're not sure if it's normal aging or if your concerns are valid um, please reach out call the 24-7 the, um, helpline and um, talk to one of our wonderful um, helpline folks because it's such you, so many people have so many questions and that is great that that and you will talk Will you talk to a human being? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. You, you talk to a human being? Yes. And, yeah. and they can elevate your case to a master's level clinician if needed. Mm -hmm. If there's questions regarding medication and things like that, 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 that type of um, question would be elevated. Then the walk. Tell us again yes. about the walk. Sure. The Nashville Walk to End Alzheimer's is this Saturday at Nissan Stadium. Um, the event will take place in lot C. Um, we open the event space at 7 a.m. and the event we will start our opening ceremony at 8 a.m. It is an exciting day. We're expecting gorgeous weather. We were the fifth largest walk in the country last year in 2021. We already have over 1,100 people registered. We anticipate a much bigger crowd than that even on day of. But it's outside and so with the weather you can bring your dog, your strollers. Um, it's Halloween weekend, yeah, so amazing. grab your costume. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah. have live music. Yeah. Um, lots of fun things happening at the event. We're going to have food trucks and other things. But most importantly, it is such an important time of year for our families to come together and be with those um, that they maybe only see once a year at the walk, but they find those like-minded families or, or the families that are going through I can't say the same thing because every journey is so different as we've talked about today, but mm -hmm. certainly people that understand the journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And does it mean a lot for you? It does, yes. Every year um, I get to choose the purple flower and the purple flower signifies that you've lost somebody to the disease. So our flowers, um, each color um, is significant for a different um, uh, it has a different meaning so I pick a purple on it every year and I I always get my excuse me I always go in and I we, we have like a flower garden that we can set it in and it's just beautiful to see the the various colors and just see people really thinking about it when they actually go to put the flower in so yes and this type of thing is happening all over the country? We have over 600 walks across the country. They start in September and they wrap up before the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, again, you know, the largest awareness building campaign um, in the world really for Alzheimer's and dementia, but also one of the largest fundraisers. And we're fundraising for those uh, care and support programs we talked about today, those education programs, those support groups for our advocacy programs, for our caregiver conferences but we're also funding research and that's where we're going to find innovation with this disease yeah. and that's where that hope for tomorrow comes all right all right we'll, we'll take a break we'll come back we'll wrap everything up right after this okay attention